Hey guys, it's Dr. Curvy here, and we're back with another video. I know it's another Wild Drift video, and it's been about like what a month since my last Wild Drift video. So I know it's been a while, and I should have never kept you guys waiting. So yeah, so here we are. Um, what changed? Nothing much. Well, a month is like a, a one patch, so you know. I, I didn't do the battle pass and stuff, but yeah. Here we are playing Yumi full AP. Now what better way to come back from, you know, my wild drift rut than to play um, AP Yumi. So I got inspired by this build when I was playing on PC. It's because during my, you know, not playing wild drift due to just, I don't know, it doesn't feel like there's enough content to give to me. That's why I didn't play. I wasn't demotivated to uh, record or anything. I wanted to do other things, but you know, a lot of the games I want for require money. So unfortunately, that's not the case. You know, like Steam games, not free to play games. But either way. So yes, I was playing PC League a lot in the meantime. You know, because I got the battle pass there and it was easier to grind there. So I was like, why not? So I was trying out uh, AP Yumi there because Yumi's kind of weak as an enchanter now. So in PC, she's built more as like an AP bot on as a support. So let's start with this build here. As you can see from the setup on the screen, the UI is a bit more um, normal, like commentator normal. So yes, um, for my runes, I went with uh, Summon Airy, of course, a Scorch. Um, you can go with Hunter's Titan for more health, uh, and I went with the Ability Haste one, Hunter Genius. And yeah, my summoner spells are Heal, as you can see from the bottom left, Heal and Ignite. Um, my duo, I met this duo last game, the game before this, and so yeah, he's pr pretty good. Um, I'm a little rusty in Wild Drift, considering I'm used to the fast, to the slower mechanics on PC, you know? So yeah, so that's my runes. Once again, it's Airy, Scorch, uh, Hunter's Titan, and Hunter Genius. So for my build, um, item-wise, it's pure AP. You don't have to worry about a thing here. Uh, as you can see, I'm already doing damage on my first skill. Oh wait, before we start items, let's talk about the maxing. So you max your f uh, first skill first, because you obviously want the poke. Because that's your main damage output while you're latched onto someone. And then third skill, second. Uh, let's see the skirmish here. Ezreal flash for that. You can see here nothing happened. That was a that was a random mass trade. That um Nunu reacted kinda slow there. Um, as you can see, Ezreal is trying to go ham here. Good thing we have our ultimates, and I went ultimate in. Boom. Yeah, Yumi's got to do a lot of damage. So, yeah. So, like I said, in your maxing order, you're going to get your first skill, and then your third skill, and then your second skill. Your ultimate whenever you can, obviously. Uh, why first skill? It's your damage output. It's your poke. If you know how to land it, you'll be fine. Um, her third skill is the healing. Um, when you're building AP, it will heal a lot. And they changed how her healing works. It's not always an instant uh, flat uh, heal. It's going to be through auto attacks of the AD carry. So you have to time it right with their auto attacks. So be careful on that. And you have they have to be low. You can't just heal willy-nilly now. Because just because. And it also still costs a lot of mana. But thankfully, um, her spamming Q is not mana costly, and you do still have the pop and block passive, where you gain a shield whenever you auto attack, as well as gain a little bit of mana back. So that's not a problem. That's why we don't take mana flow band on her, you know. Um. So yeah, those are the skill orders. Let's start with the next part, which is the items. Now, when I mentioned pure AP, she's pure, pure. You don't even need to have boots. I don't know if you miss the same in Wild Drift where you don't buy boots because it's a waste. You can build items on that instead, you know? Um, let's see here. Ooh, we're already doing some poking on Janna here. 
Uh, we already have the first item that we're gonna build, which is the Ludens Echo. Look at me spamming my first skills perfectly. It already does a lot of damage at level 5. As you can see here, Ezreal initiated too early and um, yeah, he got cocky for it. Um, so yeah, I'm building my Ludens Echo first, which is the core item for her. Um, there's another skirmish here. I went on the Nunu, bounced back to Varus. And that was a nice skirmish on Nunu's part. You know, he knew how to play that right. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm building my Lumen's Echo first because even on PC, that's like her core item, her mythic. I um, mean, it's really good. Gives you a lot of AP, mana, ability, haste, etc. I don't think it gives ability haste. Um, but yeah, it does a lot. It starts to hurt and it mixes well with your rune scorch and the other items that I'm going to be explaining later. That's your first item. I already finished it. Um, the next item is going to be obviously the Rabadon stat cap. I mean, if you've been playing Wildra for a while, you know that Rabadon and Ludens are kind of like the together combo, you know? Um, but there has been more items since, you know, the beginning of Wildra. So, um, the next item is going to be a Leandris. Now, in Wild Drift, we are fortunate to have Leandris and Ludens in the same item slot. Uh, but unfortunately, in PC, we can't do that. Uh, but a lot of Yumi go Yumi mains go Leandris if you're doing the AP build. But here we have the best of both worlds. So we're going to pick um, Leandris up. Um, it not only uh, amplifies your damage uh, more with your first skill with the burn. And like I said, it works well with your Scorch as well. So yeah, um, I like that for more penetration as well. And the health um, damage um, thing. Uh, passive. Um, so what else do I forget? Oh, something happened here. Okay, that vein's going ham. So yeah, that's how it is. Let me repeat the first three items. Ludens, Rapidons, and then Leandris. Now those are your core three items. And you're not going to get boots. I know you can get Ionian boots with the, with the Mythic, uh, with an Enchant. But I don't think it's needed, to be honest. Especially when you're out, you're going to die anyway. But for your last uh, item, you can get boots if you want. If you have like the first four items, then get your boots last if possible. But I fully went all items because I don't need it, to be honest. If you know how to play Yumi and you know how the champion works. So uh, like I said, Ludens, Rabadons, and Leandris are your first three core items. Um, you can mix and match the last two items, whatever you want. Um, I, I, I can, I went with the, what, what did I go? Uh, Rhylice. Rhylice is good because of the slow. Um, let's look at this fight right here. You see that Varus is about to die, but he didn't trust me. Um, I'm trying to poke with my, uh, first skill over here. You can see I chunked the damage out. Uh, I'm just poking as much as I can. Anyways, um, I went with Rylize, and I'm probably going to go with a Morello's last, or like I mentioned, Boots. Um, but yeah, that was the item build. It's It does a lot of damage late game, especially with your uh, second skill passive, which gives you adaptive damage. And your ADC adaptive damage, so that's crazy. Look at this team fight here. You think Varus is going to die? Nope. I got the shield on time. And I pop the Janna off with my first skill. I think after this um, small fight, the virus said, you saved me. I was like, duh, it's my job. Obviously. That's how Yumi works. <laughs> um, a lot of Yumi's just stay inside, but you can do s magic with Yumi. Some plays over here. So yeah, now I'm building my Rabadons next. And that's pretty much it. For like the strategy, honestly, just try landing your Qs. Time your ease so that your ADC can auto attack off of it and heal because it's pretty strong. The healing is pretty strong with pure AP, especially if you know what, especially if the ADC knows what they're doing. I don't think, let's see that damage, boom. I don't think um, a lot of Wild Drift players are familiar with the new Yumi third skill because it's always flat damage heal and then that's it. But now you, every three auto attacks, you get healed by an amount that you heal when you use the skill. So you get healed four times. And I think late game, it does 150 per attack. So 
said that's crazy. Um, now there's some shenanigans here. Okay, that Janna is about to. Yep, I had. I just had to. Uh, there we go. Boom. That Janna had it coming. Now, speaking of Janna, let's talk about counters now. Counters. I don't think this is a good comp against like an assassin, like a like a Pike, because if she gets picked off, you can't really get out. Because especially Pike, Pike has a lot of CC, which can. Um, which can hinder Yumi from getting, from latching on to the ADC, so you better be careful about that. Um, who else do I talk about? Um, this is good against mages, squishy mages, or squishy enchanters that don't heal as much, like a Janna. Or if you're against an enchanter like Janna, which I didn't do, you can build an anti-heal as your, like, fourth item after your three cores. Um, but yeah, I think this is also good on a Sona, but then again, Sona outheals you out heals a lot later on so be careful about that so make sure you add a morello into this if you can um oh look at my <laughs> i chunked that jana off um what else do i build i mean what else counters i think tanks like i said oh oh look at that i have the bop of lock passive but i unfortunately passed away uh, let me try fast forwarding a little bit. How many seconds did I pass away? Uh, let's see. And I'm here. So, another counter to this champion is probably tanks initiation. Like I said, that's kind of like Pike. But tanks are more chunky. You can't really knock him out. The only thing that's useful about Yumi in that matchup is her second skill, adaptive damage. So you kind of tend to have to sit. Or in my case, try building some after your core. Try building some ape, um, some support items like staff or you know ardent or anything. And this, I think, at this situation, you have to buy boots. So you know, you have to buy boots at this situation because I feel like you need to peel for your AD carry if they don't know what they're doing. You know, which is a lot in Wild Rift. You know, by the way, I feel like people still don't know how to jungle in Wild Rift, which is sad. And I did play Morgana today and won. So. That's that. We're gonna jungle, by the way. It was a hard thing to do. Okay, there looks like there's an initiation here. No. But yeah, those are all the tips and tricks I can give about you, me as a champion. And if you're gonna do this AP build, um, let me know if you have any comments about the, the champion and stuff. Just leave them in the comments. And I will gladly answer them. Uh, oh, I tried to hit that Ezreal though, but Janna heal came in with her ultimate. Ally slain. I, I okay, let's see this fight. Uh, you, you see how Varus healed so fast? I think I healed. I don't remember if I healed or that was from her second, uh, from her passive. I kind of lost my words there. Oh my gosh, it's four AM, yo. Okay, so that's what happened. Let's skip a bit of seconds. Okay, I'm back. So as you can see here, I'm starting to build my... What's this item called? <laughs> Leandri's Torment. It got nerfed, obviously, because of Gwen and Kale and all, but... And Lilia's coming, but that doesn't mean it's a weak item. It's still useful on champions that surprisingly need it. Like, excuse me, Yumi. And this virus is fed, fed, fed. Oh, you can see the healing there, see? It healed four times. The first heal when I hit the ability and then the auto attacks. It's kind of weird how to use it now. But that's a good thing though. They have to really... A good ADC needs to kite. Okay, let's see what's happening here. This Ezreal is so close. He keeps doing that a lot, by the way. If he do... If, he, if an Ezreal does that... Initiate ASAP because he has no escape. Um, as you can see, the virus is a little low. He gets a hundred, hundred, hundred healing per attack, which is interesting, honestly. Now he's back to full health, and as you can see in the bottom, those three notes, he has to heal for that to happen. A uh, virus got a good ultimate in. Of course, I'm gonna chunk that Janna off the map, and there it goes. Got a double kill right there. Yep, 
playing PC recently a lot and coming back to Wild Rift is so weird. I forgot that people don't know how to jungle. The amount of can I jump? Can I? Can I? Can you jungle? Can you jungle? Like, girl, it's so annoying. Ugh, anyway, there's a graves here. Chunk. It's so annoying to just get the role you want. If you get assigned the role, just do the role. Jeez. How far are we into the game? 16 minutes. Oh, it's almost gonna end. Because I remember this match was 19 minutes and 29 seconds. Uh, but look at my score, y'all. 4, 2, and 12. You know, if you want assists and stuff, you just want to sit. This is your champion. As an enchanter in Wild Rift, I don't know how Yumi's state is, but I know but I know her Q is annoying. I mean her first skill, so this is the T. Okay, what's happening now? Oh we got Baron, I forgot about that. Wow, I'm not attentive today. <laughs> so we got Baron and now me and Varus decide we're just gonna do a hard push because I I feel like this is over. And little did we know Ezreal and Janna came over to invade. Janna tried to ultimate over here, but I have Leandri, so that's not gonna work. I don't know if I killed. Oh, I killed. I killed. I killed the Ezreal because I got a killed there. Now it's just power city, power push city. I've played a lot of matches since I came back to playing this, but dang, I don't miss the Emerald, y'all. I don't miss the Emerald rank. But that's how it is. If you're gonna get to diamond, once I think, if I feel like if I reach diamond, it's gonna be smooth sailing. To be honest. But I'm not going to really take it to heart anymore because I already peaked Masters and, you know, I'm just vibing right now. I think I said that a few times in videos before, but, you know, that's how it is. Um, yes, we hard push here. That Varus auto attack is so slow. Always oh, going crit var uh, lethality Varus. Not much attack speed. Mm. kind of needs more of that. Also, did you guys notice that we're three ADCs? Bane top, Lucian mid, and Varus ADC. Thank goodness for Nunu, but Nunu's building kind of AP tank. I mean, Rod of Ages is has good health stats. So I'm not gonna complain about that. But I either way, um, as you can see, the Elder Dragon is here. We chunk it obviously, and in a few minutes, I think at 19 minutes, the Elder Dragon spawns. So you know we have to prep for that, honey. Um, as you can see, I bought the Rhylice now. Now this is really good for more poke. Especially if you throw your first skill out and then you hit someone and then you, they can catch up to it. It also works well with the um, Leandris. It is kind of like a Morgana, you know, when you hit your second skill and then boom. Also, people, by the way, speaking of Morgana, people build Riftmaker on her. That's kind of weird. I mean, it gives you a lot of damage per tick with your second skill, but... Uh, but then again, Leandri is nerfed, so she needs her damage back. Um, as you can see, we try initiating here. Um, pop, 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 pop. Um, the healing, I think there was anti-heal here because my healing didn't do enough damage. Um, I unfortunately passed away. Um, good job, Virus, having Guardian Angel and Vayne finishing it off. He got the Quadra and he got the Penta. I was like, whew, I did my job, you know. No one plays Yumi, so I think I can get away with this. But not anymore, now I'm posting this video. Oof. So yeah, that was the Yumi match up. I hope you guys learned something from this. I hope it encourages you to play Yumi, and then I'll ban her eventually. I ban Soraka a lot now too, so... But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, Yumi guide. As you can see here, these is, these, this is my final build. Janna did nothing. I am so sorry for her. If she can go HP Janna, she should... The reason why I did this build because I realized that in Wild Rift, if I want to get out of Emerald and go to Diamond, I feel like I need to be AP no matter what. You know, if you're Brand, Lux, Karma, whatever, I feel like I just need to be pure AP so that they don't react to the damage that I'm doing because I feel like healing is pretty weak in low elo because, you know, you don't see much tanks, you know, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's why I did this build and that's what pursued me to make this video but yeah um good job on virus and that was the yumi build ap burst 
guide if it was a guide but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video like it if you don't dislike it make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell for whenever i upload a new video uh, i'm a vtuber who does a lot of content you know wild truth was my main thing to do content with but i am branching out a lot uh, i did overwatch and stuff um, i might do some cozy games if you guys are interested in that you know, I just want to branch out as much as I can because I don't want to stick to one because I might get bored and burn out. Uh, hopefully in 2023, a lot of this will change. And yeah, I'll make sure you go to my Discord. Link in the description below if you guys want to meet like-minded people like me uh, and have fun. Um, make sure you join the Discord. Um, Not many people are active there. I just say something and then hopefully my people respond. I think the only person that responds to my messages is my modder on discord who is also a youtuber uh, m16u um i'm pretty sure you've seen his name on comments on my videos hopefully uh and yeah uh, i have a coffee link in the description below if you guys want to tip me um uh, something a small amount of appreciation then i would greatly appreciate it back uh, who knows i might shout you sh sh shit what i might shout you guys out in the next video i've never gotten any donations but hopefully i would get some so hopefully you get a shout out in the next video or something like that you know and yeah it's been so long since i've played wild drift a month but hopefully you know it's a casual thing now i'm not gonna go hard on the content but there's still love in this game because i play pc too and now that PC is going to get the League of Legends treatment in Southeast Asia, you know, Rip Garena, by the way. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.